<sighs> Suicide Squad, released in 2016, written and directed by David Ayer, and completely butchered by Warner Brothers executives. Production budget of 175 million, worldwide total of 746 million, for a profit of 571 million, less all marketing and associated costs. Starring Jared Leto, Will Smith, Margot Robbie, Jai Courtney, and a whole bunch of other people that I really can't be bothered going through at the moment. Seriously, this. this movie. Okay. Alright. This movie had great potential it's, it's got a lot of uh, potential for a lot of fun a lot of um errors it turns out a lot of missed opportunities a lot of poorly explained characters a lot of just disappointment and in fact straight up just a lot of a lot of rage this this one upset a lot of people i'm kind of one of them that it really managed to annoy for a variety of reasons, actually. We'll start with the trailer, okay? The trailer promised a fun and funky, exciting, pseudo-criminal caper movie. I mean, the trailer was great. Fantastic use of music, great beats. The whole thing was nice. The trailer was the best thing about this film. I wanted the movie that the trailer promised me. Not, not this. Not, not what I got. I mean, the characters. Not all of them are great, but none of them deserve this. Killer Croc is an amazingly cool Batman villain from the animated series. This one, he's just the grunty guy who had one job and didn't do that very well at all anyway. Captain Boomerang, he's amazing. He's really quite cool in this show. Why? When Captain Boomerang, when Jai Courtney as Captain Boomerang delivers a performance that's a standout high point, your film's in trouble. Will Smith is Deadshot. Deadshot was done much better in the Arrow TV series. And don't talk to me about race. It's got nothing to do with race. It's got all to do with the presentation of the character. Okay? Will Smith is Will Smith. The dude is too big a star and he's too amazingly charismatic not to be Will Smith. So no matter what you did with Will Smith, it's still Will Smith. Okay? Legendarily excellent actor. Brilliant guy. He's not Deadshot. You know why he's not Deadshot? Because he's Will Smith. You don't see Deadshot, you see Will Smith. And then you have what? Harley Quinn, the iconic character. They, she's somewhere between Ditsoid and Psychopath, or just playing dumb in this one. She's just stupid. Uh, that was also frustrating. Katana alone could have taken out the entire Suicide Squad and most of the problem by herself. Okay, what she was doing as a side gig sword maiden, I, I just, I... But the film itself, the film itself has just, it looks as ripped up and stitched back together as David Ayer claims it has been. He claims major meddling and disastrous rewrites. Oh, and it looks it. The Enchantress at the start is a major threat. She's scary. She's chilling. She's excellent. And then she's this. I feel sorry for the actress. I really do. Probably looked like a really good gig on paper. I'm sure when she signed the contract, it was a much more appealing prospect than that. And just the plot holes that you could literally crash yet another helicopter through. Oh, uh, yeah, they kill a lot of helicopters in this one. I mean, at one stage, they're flying into this beleaguered city, right? They're flying into it. And they take machine gun fire from above them. There's nothing above them. They've established that there's nothing above them. All well, the establishing shots show them at the higher than everything else. Even if there were enemies in the buildings around them firing down on them, they never showed that. And when they made contact, they never referenced it. They just looked for ground type. I don't understand. You've got character arcs launching off into nothingness. You've got character deaths that you just don't care about. You've got subplots and developments that don't make any sense because you're missing the bits in the middle. Katana doesn't like them. Katana goes drinking with them at the end. There's no in-between sequence. I mean, the whole mission, the Suicide Squad mission, you took a bunch of normals with barely adequate combat abilities, some kind of powered people, and threw them up against an Aztec deity. Sure. There's nothing really redeeming about it at all. Apart from Captain Boomerang, which, you know, really? So all we have to do is do better than this, right? Yeah, okay, that shouldn't be too hard, one hopes. But yeah, there, there it is. 
So there's a review of a very painful two hours of my life I'm never going to get back. Uh, has anyone else seen it? And if you enjoyed it, I am sorry that I just trashed something you enjoyed. But please explain how you enjoyed it. Because I, I just, I don't get it from any angle at all. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Hope you're having a good week and then get some time to go watch a movie.